The Big Show. All right, you know him, you love him. 43 years at NFL Films. He's obviously the executive producer and on-air talent for the NFL Matchup Show, the show the pros watch. Thoroughly look forward to our 15, 20 minutes every week. Greg, a decent amount of quarterback news for this time of the year. Let's start with the news out of Las Vegas where the Raiders are benching Derek Carr to go with Jarrett Stidham. You and I both know there are financial reasons for that, ramifications, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I ask you. What I ask you is, what have you seen from Derek Carr this year? Well, I guess, Ross, what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas, huh? We kind of <laughs> know about it. Um, you know, Derek, I thought this would be a really good marriage between Josh McDaniels and Derek Carr because, you know, Derek Carr throws the ball extremely well. You could see that going back to watching him at Fresno State. Easy thrower. He almost throws at times like Aaron Rodgers with that quick, compact delivery. Um, but – it hasn't worked out, and I, in many ways, I struggle to figure out why because I really thought it would. Um, Carr can be uncertain and tentative in the pocket. I think he really needs to see it clearly for it to work, and I think in, in the Josh McDaniels offense, there's a lot of, of option routes, choice routes, throws that require trust, throws that require timing and anticipation, um, and I just don't, and you see it sometimes, obviously it's not as if he never does that, you know, but it just, it, I don't think it was done at the level that needs to be done uh, for him to be a consistent player. Now he's had really good moments this year. He's made some really good throws. He will always do that, but there's just been, and I hate, I hate this word because it's always a cop out word, but there's just been an inconsistency in how he's run that passing game that I'm sure has has just gotten Josh McDaniels to feel like, hey, we need to look in a different direction. And I, I think that's where we stand right now. You know, it's interesting, Greg. I'm going to talk about this more later in Tuck's takes. But on some level, it's an indictment of McDaniels, right? I mean, Derek Carr, by any measure or ranking, was a top 12 quarterback last year. I know a lot of people thought he played at the top 10 level right. last year. And I know guys have systems and they have quarterbacks that maybe are a better fit for what they like to run, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, Greg. Isn't coaching at the end of the day getting the most out of the talent that you have? And McDaniels, it kind of feels like, is getting the least out of car that anybody's gotten in the last few years. Yeah, and again, we're not there, Ross, so that's hard to know. But I think even – when Derek Carr was theoretically playing good football, I think there were always a couple of things that stood out on tape. Number one, I think that there were times that he was not a comfortable pocket player. I think there are times he was risk averse and did not turn the ball loose on throws that were there. You know, I think that's who he is. He's played a long time now. That's not likely to change. Um, I think that the rhythm part of his game is something that is is erratic and up and down. And because I think the Josh McDaniel system relies really very much on that, we saw that kind of erratic play. So you're right, but, you know, it's also possible that Carr, despite numbers, you know, it, it's always easy to look at numbers. And, and there's all these metrics now that people use. You still have to watch the tape and see. I mean, I, I'm watching – tape every single week and I see throws by quarterbacks that should be made that are not made. I don't know if there's a metric for that. You know, I see metrics for pressure. I don't know what that means. I know what it means when I see the tape. I know if I think a quarterback's under pressure or not, you know, if it, just because a defender is two yards from a quarterback, that doesn't mean that's pressure necessarily. So, you know, I think we have to be careful about using metrics to determine whether a quarterback is a good quarterback or not. 